Hey guys, welcome to uh, another episode of Skip's Game Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES. Ah, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on Nintendo Entertainment System. Whoa. I always like that fist that pops out at you. But anyway, the first fighter's name is Glass Joe. Now this guy is a pushover. I mean, he is easy. Basically, every fighter in this game has a certain thing they do before they punch you, and you have to wait for them to do it, so you can wait to attack. This guy, watch. Boom. You can just punch the crap out of this guy, no problem at all. Now, A controls your right punch, B controls your left. I've heard that your right is harder or stronger than your left. I'm not exactly sure. You can do combos between the two. Um, he'll back up and, like, shake his fist at you, and then when it recharges, you can just, like, punch him in the face like that. I mean, this guy's no problem at all. Um, um, and basically, whenever you fight someone, uh, three knockouts in one round guarantees you a TKO. You can knock people out, and you can win by default, but you'll probably just TKO them, usually in the first round. This guy, Von Kaiser, will shake his head really quickly back and forth before he punches. Um, he'll either do that, or he has an uppercut. This guy isn't really that tough either. Alright, now we've got the title bout. <laughs> Sorry, I just love that music. Anyway, so your third fighter is your first uh, ridiculously big opponent. This guy is like 10 feet taller than Mike, Ty er, <laughs> Mike Tyson, than uh, Little Mac, who's apparently 17 years old. I never knew that before. But anyway, Piston Honda. So this guy will like vibrate his eyebrows up and down before he punches. And you can punch him twice in the face, watch out he does an uppercut, and he also has a special move, which is like... He like backs up and then comes at you with an onslaught of like five punches in a row. That right there that I just got was like, uh, it's like a star. Okay, here's his like punches. But anyway, there's a, it's like if you punch the person in the face uh, at a certain time, you get this star. It's not that hard to obtain really, but it's hard for me to explain. I found it out by accident basically. But basically, whenever you get one, if you hit start, you do this like super punch. It's really cool. All right. Um. Oh yeah. And sorry I didn't mention this, but yes, Mario is the ref of this game. I know he rules Nintendo. So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's Piston Honda. Um. Basically, in this game, there's nothing really to worry about control-wise. They're pretty smooth. I wouldn't um be concerned. The graphics are actually really nice, I think. And I always love this. Whenever you finish, like, uh, I guess a circuit or whatever, you get this, like, training scene, and Max in his, like, pink, <laughs> pink jogging suit, and Doc's on the bike in front of him. They're, like, running outside of New York, and it's all beautiful and everything. But then you get a pass key for the next circuit, uh, and for those of you who are lazy, there you go. You can uh, put that in there. So final thoughts on Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Well, being one of my favorite games on the NES, it's really, really fun. I mean, it starts out easy and just gets more challenging as you go along. You meet many interesting characters, and I mean, it's just something that will occupy you for hours, I think. Um, it does get pretty difficult, and the final fight with Tyson, which I've never gotten to, is really, really difficult. And, uh, you know, I think it's a f pretty cool game coming from the arcades, so this is an arcade port of this game. And then, I guess the licensing or something ran out on the title using Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, because there's actually two versions of this on the NES, the other just being Punch-Out. And um, Mike Tyson is replaced with Mr. Dream, who's basically just like a white Mike Tyson. So, if you have an NES... I definitely recommend this game. It's fairly cheap on eBay or, you know, other sites, so it's not that expensive, and it's really a lot of fun. I highly recommend it, and uh, if you don't feel like, if you don't have an NES and you want to buy this game, go to Wii Shop channel. It is on there. So uh, that concludes 
this episode of Skip's Game Reviews. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment if you like my videos. Um, I try to upload as many as I possibly can, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.